what the army just did has Alan West terrified about our nation's safety. Many surprises arrived this couple of months, including those connected with the military. The cases of Bo Bergdahl, Bradley Manning and Lt. Spencer Arpoon. Recently, the people with mental health conditions received the opportunity to join the Army. USA Today reported, people with a history of self-mutilation, bipolar disorder, depression and drug and alcohol abuse can now seek waivers to join the Army under an unannounced policy enacted in August, according to documents obtained by USA Today. The Army has a goal to recruit 80,000 soldiers through September 2018. Probably, this decision came up so that they can complete their goal. Last year's goal was 69,000, so the Army approved the recruits who did badly on their ability tests and expanded the number of waivers granted for marijuana use and proposed to give bonuses worth of hundreds of millions of dollars. As USA Today reported, Expanding the waivers for mental health is possible in part because the Army now has access to more medical information about each potential recruit, Lt. Col. Randy Taylor, an Army spokesman, said in a statement. The Army issued the ban on waivers in 2009 amid an epidemic of suicides among troops. Col. Randy Taylor stated, the decision was primarily due to the increased availability of medical records and other data which is now more readily available. These records allow Army officials to better document applicant medical histories. However, taking service members who have mental health conditions is a risky move. It will be a lot to put on those people to defend and risk everything for this country. The Army would be a tough part of their life and it can even make their medical condition even worse. It shouldn't be like that because there are a lot of young people out there who would be willing to join the Army and defend this country. Hopefully, President Trump will fix this move, before it turns into a whole big mess. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think, you think.